See, this is how this is how I work. Y'all, I, I don't be bullshitting over here. I'm for real. I don't be bullshitting over here. You guys be thinking like, yo, that shit is easy and all like that. No, no, you know, got to set up. I got to get I got to get all this done within the time restraint. You know what I'm saying? I got about I got about 30 minutes left on my clock. So I got to get I I got to I got to get it moving. I got to get it done. You know what I'm saying? All right. So we about to do the intro. All you have to do is stay a minute. Just take it time. The clock is ticking. So stay. All you have to do is stay. What's going on, guys? Lockout Man here. Back again with another podcast for you guys. And in this episode, it is the M. TC edition. Yes, sir. I am back with another call for you guys. And in this call right here, I don't know. I don't know who we about to call. Lockout man, who we about to call? Hold up, y'all, before we get into that. If you like content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button for more. You know what I'm saying? If you like if you like to support the channel and support me, hook me up with something to drink. <sighs> hook me up with something to drink, man. The cash, the cash app and the coffee app is in the uh description below. And with that said, let's get on with this uh let's get on with this podcast. Of course you guys know who I am. And you guys know who this is. This is Lockout Men Podcast. In this episode, we're definitely going to get into it. We're going to call. Who are we going to call today? We are going to call Cook Trucking. 40 years strong. And it's pronounced Cook, but the spelling is K-O-C-H. Let's head over to the bit board about Cook. Let me... First thing first, let me let me see. Okay, yeah, we still got that up. Nope, nope, we gotta flip it over like that. Uh, and then we gotta go to five. There we go. All right, all right. So we on the bit board right now. We are on their website, uh, Cook Trucking website. Clean website, man. I mean. The website is super clean. You know, you got a cook culture, business line, service, becoming the driver, corporate careers, and all that good stuff. They've been in the, they've been in business for 40 years. They started way back in 1978. They buy their first truck to transport hardware for cook industries from a distributor in Finley, Ohio. Man, they started in Ohio. That's what's up. Uh, here's their hiring maps. Of course, they got different lanes. Um, Indianapolis to Chicago, hauling medical supplies. Uh, they got different lanes right there. I'm not going to go into di uh, into full detail about it. The pay is 50 cent a mile if you have hazmat. That's what I forgot to ask them. I forgot to ask them if they had hazmat. Stop pay is 30 cent per mile with uh with an average two stop per night a total of 10 uh a total of 10 a week and that's about 300 dollars just in stop pay although hazmat is required 95 percent of the loads are non hazmat let's see uh they got a 2k sign on bonus and this is of course is a no touch freight with about 21 to 2300 miles about 2,000 miles guaranteed. They have dedicated retail. They got flatbed. They got OTR. They got marine. And they got specialized. They got dedicated with over 2,500 miles a week. OTR with about 2,500 plus miles a week. Specialized, they say about 2,300 miles a week. Marine, same thing. Flatbed about 2,500, I mean 2,500 plus miles a week. Uh, they got 11 business lines in this company. And that's about it. That's about it. All right. So if you guys are interested in, uh, in Cook Transportation, their phone number is 800 625 
5-2-9-2. But let me tell you guys the real reason why, why I made this call. Now, even though this call was not suggested, I last night, I get a dark text uh, last night. Let me show you guys. This this is the this is a dark text that I got last night. I don't know if you guys could see it. It may not could see it. it might not could clear in. But I get a dark text last night. Let me tell you what this guy uh said in the dark text last night. So he didn't tell me the company name. He just came out and tell me all of the all of the good stuff about the company. 85% of weekend 85% of the time off weekends up to 70 up to 75 cent CPM. Now, I talked to the recruiter. I will be coming in at 50 cent. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? See how this you see how the inconsistencies is with that up to 75%. So you telling me I would get 75%, but when I call and get to the company, it's 50 cent. How do I get the extra 25 cent? He doesn't say that. He says, I get two days off. You must have one year of his previous experience that starts at 53 cent per mile. Again, the recruiter told me 50 cent. And if you go on their website, which I just showed you, says that they start at 50 cent uh 55 cent per mile based on four years previous with all miles loaded or empty plus 75 cent for oversized overweight loads on all loaded miles 30 dollars stop pay vacation and holiday pay four thousand dollar bonus $500 at the orientation, $500 after 90 days, $500 after six months, $2K after 12 months. Now, when I talked to the recruiter, they upped it to $5,000, which is paid out the same way. Could run anywhere in the lower 48, also Canada, with 15% of the, I mean, 15% of the time. Now, when I talked to the recruiter, he did not mention anything about Canada. So do they run to Canada? I don't know. But when you make that phone call to them, find out if they do. Because, like I said, he didn't mention anything about Canada. He did mention the fact that they was over the road, but it's more regional than anything. He said he runs to 35 from Minnesota all the way down to Texas. Must have or be willing to acquire a passport or a Twit card. Again, my conversation with the recruiter did not specify any of that. No touch freight trailers are preloaded. Customers unload. If you're interested, send me your zip code, and I will check on your home time in your area. So I came back, and I says, all right, cool. What's the company? What, 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 what company this is? And what's the phone number so I can call for myself? He comes back right there. He comes back and says, first, what's your zip code? I want to make sure I can, I can, I can, I want to make sure you can be home weekly. So I said, first, what is the company's name? Don't just tell me all this good shit. Let me know what this company name. It could be anybody. It could be it, it could be US Express, JR Swoogle, CFI. You know, it could be companies that I might not even want to fuck with. Let me know what this company name so you won't be wasting your time and you won't be wasting mine. So the dude comes back and says, why? 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 Because I want to know why. That's why. Who does that? You know, if you if you're a recruiter for the company and you dark testing somebody and somebody asks you, hey, who you recruiting for? Don't ask why. Don't do that, bro. You that that's how you can get blocked. Don't do that. Tell me who you recruiting for and I can go from there and I can do the rest of my homework myself.
He comes back and says, please read the qualifications. Then I will send, then I will send you the company. I will send you the company and the Italian link. The qualifications are one year of OTR or regional in the past 10 years with six months OTR regional in the past two. No DUIs related conventions, uh, charges in the past 10 years, lifetime, no positive drug tests, no head on rear end rollover, ran off the road, Fatality accidents within the past three years. No more than three chargeable minor incidents in the last three years. No more than two in the last 12. No serious traffic violations in the past three. Careless, reckless, following too close, more than 15 miles over. No more than four moving violations in the past three years. No more than two in the past 12. Felony conventions must be five years from the conviction date. They will be reviewed by case by case. No terminations for assault, drug, alcohol, violations, or theft. Must read and write English. If you're okay with the qualifications, text me back. Thanks. And this motherfucker came back and asked me, do I qualify? He came back and asked me, do I qualify? Obviously, I must qualify if you if, if you sending me a fucking dark text, bruh. I'm just saying. Now I'm up, now I'm upset after after reading that. And he come back with, with that. So I, I come back and I ask him, I said, yo, are you a recruiter for a company or are you an independent outside recruiter? He comes back today this morning and says, I'm an outside recruiter. I've been working with Kosh for five years though. I mean, I've been working for uh, Cook for five years though. Outside recruiter, man. So everything you told me, that, that you're telling me, could be fabricated simply because you're an outside recruiter, so you get paid. The way you get paid is by bringing drivers in. You bring a driver in, you get them in that seat, you get paid. The more drivers you bring in, the more you get paid. Right? Ain't that, ain't that how it works? It's commission-based, right? Is it commission-based? That's what I should ask him. So... How do you get paid for recruiting? Let's see. Recruiting. Recruiting drivers. See. <laughs> this dude, this dude must not know who I am. <laughs> do your homework bruh do your homework lock out men from youtube do your homework anyway with that said everybody let's get into the call hey what's going on bruh how you feel today man if, if i was any better i'd have to be triplets so i'd have to uh, stand on my hands to keep from clapping that's waving at folks Stuff like that, brother. How about you? That's what's up, man. I, I'm I'm liking you already. <laughs> yeah. What's not to like, right? <laughs> That's what's up. Well, first thing first, man, I want to say my name's uh Sean. I'm a five year truck driver and I've been, you know, I'm I just want to call to see what now I I thought the name was pronounced like Kosh, but it's actually pronounced Cook, right? Cook. Cook, yeah. That's what I that's what I thought. But with a funny spelling, man. What's what is what is up with all these trucking companies and they weird ass spelling, man? I don't know. Uh that's just the people's name that owns it. Uh and they uh started the trucking company as Stan Cook and Sons mm -hmm. in uh, nineteen and seventy eight. Okay, okay. So we've been so so they've been in existence for over thirty years, huh? 
Yeah, right at uh, 40. For- 40. Oh, okay, okay. 42. Okay. Well, the reason why the re- the the reason why uh the reason why I'm on the phone with you, you know, I'm I, I want to get uh I want to get clarification. Um I got a I got a dark text yesterday uh from somebody. Okay. I I can't tell whether I I couldn't tell who it was, but I got a dark text and they sent me um a little bit of information about about what the company offer. But when I came down and I asked the guy, because, you know, it, like I said, it was a dark text. I asked the guy, I said, it was, a, it was, a, it was a what? I, I call it a dark, dark text. Yeah, a dark text. You know, okay. you you test somebody that you don't know. <laughs> okay. So I, I call it a dark text. And he he, he, he was telling me about he was telling me about this company. And I'm I'm reading the text okay. and I'm going like, OK, well, who is this? Who, who's the company? And. And what's the phone number? So, you know, I could call to get clarification on everything that you're talking about. Um, okay. Right here, he came back. He he said something to the fact that, you know, he wanted to know what zip code I was in so he could get me home weekly and all like that. Yada, yada, yada. And I was like, well, wait a minute. That's not what I asked. I, I want to know what's the name of the company. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. So he came back and he said, why and then he gave me the name of the company and i'm over here like why why ask why so automatically i figured that this couldn't be a recruiter for the company you see what i'm saying this this no, had to be not, like an independent been, recruiter that might have been a third party guy or something like that mm-hmm. uh, you know i i get to the straight note uh brother where do you live i stay in ohio out of, uh, I, I'll stay in Ohio, 44108, Cleveland. Okay, hold on, 44108, okay, Cleveland. Uh, I know the Cleveland area. Uh, do, 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 do. And five years driving? Yeah. Like working for anybody right now? Yes, I am. So I really don't want to give out, you know, my information. I'm just doing my homework and and you okay. know, doing my research and all like that to see if if Cook if, if tell Cook, me what if, you're doing and what you're looking for. Well, uh, well, what I'm doing is uh, I'm, I'm doing drive-in, uh, and what okay. I'm and what I'm looking for is just just general, you know, just general information about what you guys can offer because you know I I like to share this with uh with you know I network with other truck drivers too, so the information I get I sure. like to I like to share with them as well. But I just want to just make sure. sure that the information that that was sent to me is is lightweight, accurate. You see what I'm saying? Okay. All right. So yeah. if you don't if you don't uh, mind so- if if you don't mind if you don't mind me asking some questions, you know, giving me a few minutes of your no, time, go ahead. you know, I I, I would go appreciate ahead, it. Ahead. Uh, you already gave yeah, me, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you already gave me a background of the company, and that's all well and cool. I appreciate that, but um. But coming into orientation, so let's say I go through the, you know, go through the motions. I get get my application in. I get approved and all that good stuff. Going through the orientation, what what might I have to bring with me, and how would you get me there? Well, we uh, we do uh, travel with the um, COVID stuff going on mainly two ways. Uh, we either do a rental car or we do a plane. Uh, from where you're at to Minneapolis, uh, that's where we're headquartered. Okay. Um, you need to bring you need to bring, of course, you know, enough clothes to get by for a few days. A mm-hmm. uh, little little extra pocket money if you go over on any of the foods and what we what we allow. Mm-hmm. Uh, you need a, a voided check mm-hmm. or a, a, a letter from your uh, financial institution with your routing and and. Uh, and account numbers on it. You okay. need two forms of ID for your I nine, okay, and your social security card, your long form physical, okay, um, okay. And if you if you got six months left on your physical, you're good, okay. Uh, that's no problem, okay. Um, that's what's now, up. As far as work, as far as work, mm-hmm. we got anything you want to do. Uh, that that's not a problem. Uh, you know, we've got dry vans, uh, we've got specialized fleets, uh, we've got all kinds of 
side. Mm. Uh, so, you know, not that's that's we could find a fit for you. Uh, mm. We haul boats, we haul ATVs, we haul golf cars, uh, we haul, uh, you know, like the Ranger Polaris Ranger Can Am slingshot. Uh, we do flatbed. Uh, we do dry van and about 80% of our, our freight is dedicated. So okay. you, you'd, you'd be working for a customer, you know, uh, that's the, the biggest part, uh, biggest part of our freight is dedicated. Okay. Uh, we pay starting range five year driver around 50 cents, 50, some, some accounts are up as high as 55 cents. Okay. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Dang, you answer you answering the questions without even me asking them. That's what's up. Um, uh, all right. So as far as you know, as far as uh going back to the um, as far as going back to the uh uh going back to the paperwork and the orientation and all that good stuff, uh, pre employment screening like uh for what what you guys do urine or hair follicles is is it done in my state or is it done at the at, at the time i come up to me uh minnesota we do it at orient we do a urine test at orientation uh we do uh physical if you need it at orientation okay okay that's what's up all right so at orientation do i do i get paid for orientation and 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 am i in a hotel by myself doing oh, yeah. orientation we take care of we take care of the hotel, private room, nice hotel, Hilton Garden Inn uh, is what we're using right now. We do uh, orientation at our Best Western, which is next door. We're having to do the orientations off site, uh, so we so we have enough room for social distancing. So we're using a big conference room at a Best Western right next door. <clears throat> um, a private room, of course. Um, we give you fifty dollars at orientation. Uh, typically, the sign-on bonus, uh, unless there's a special special setup for something. I mean, right now for our over the road, uh, which is not over the road, it's an expanded uh, regional runs from Minneapolis to Dallas, down thirty-five, across twenty to Atlanta, uh, up to around York, PA, no New York City, and then back up to Minneapolis. So that's that's the coverage area right there. What's the mile? Uh, what what's those, the average miles on that? Twenty five to three thousand, and uh, those guys are starting at uh, at fifty fifty cent a mile. Uh, so if you hit three thousand miles a week, fifteen hundred bucks a week. Okay, okay. okay. If you have have any multiple stops? Uh, if you have any, uh, you know, more than one stop on a load, you get thirty dollars extra per stop. Benefits are out of this world. Equipment is great. Uh, we run Volvo six series, seven series, and internationals right now, and we're transitioning to the Volvo eight sixty. Those are uh, the ones. Those the ones with the with with the table in 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 the in the yeah. sleeper, right? Uh, yeah, they're 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 rigged out, man. They are completely decked out. Okay, that's what's up, man. So you say, uh, so for me, five year driver coming in at fifty cent is that fifty cent straight pay or fifty cent with incentives? Fifty cent. That's fifty cents a mile. Oh, okay, okay, cool. And you did mention that it was a sign on bonus. So what's the what's the sign yeah. on bonus? Sign on bonus. Right now, we just upped that yesterday to five thousand dollars total. Uh, it's five hundred after your first load, uh, which would be four fifty because we'll give you fifty at orientation. A thousand dollars in ninety days, a thousand dollars six months, and twenty five hundred dollars twelve months. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Anything, anything else paid to the driver like breakdowns, holiday detention, layovers? Uh, we don't have much layover detention. But yes, we do have have detention, layover, the whole nine yards. Of course, we do. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Now, being that you just said this is like an expanded regional, and I am from Ohio, uh, what would be my yeah. what what would be my home time? Would I, would I be able to get home every? You'd be out. You'd be out about ten days. Okay, okay. So you guys want us to be out for about at least two weeks. 
Is that a full two days? Yeah, now, about uh, seven, to, seven to ten days typically. Uh, you know, we just ask that you're a little flexible with us on that. And, yes, they'll give you a full two days off at the, at the end. Uh, that's, that's no problem. Okay. Will we be able to take the trucks home? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, and you already mentioned the equipment, so yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but what if you you said they also decked out too. So what what are the amenities is inside the trucks or that's coming inside? The well, trucks? well, some of our older trucks that we have gone. I was talking about the new eight sixty. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're they're coming with refrigerators. I mean, they're they're set up like you know have the tables in them, stuff like that. TV mm-hmm. mount. Uh, you know, you can set that truck up like, you know, like you want. So now let me let me ask you this right quick. Uh, let me ask you this right quick. The trucks, the newer trucks that's coming in, is that going to be is that going to be spread it out to some of your 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 veteran drivers, and then the new driver of like my, like like myself that's going to come in is going to get like the hand me downs. Well. Uh, we, we give our new trucks to seniority first, uh, as we should. Uh, these people have been with us for a long time. We take care of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, uh, you know, you, we don't have any junk trucks. Okay. Uh, our equipment's nice. Uh, you know, the average age of our trucks two and a half years. Uh, so we, we don't hold on to these trucks for a long time. We, we don't put a million miles on them. We, you know. We want dependable equipment out there on the road. It's not going to be breaking down on a driver causing service, causing service failure. Uh, you know, equipment's equipment, and it's going to break from time to time. But, you know, I haven't seen a piece of junk truck up there mm-hmm. at mm-hmm. all. And I, I don't hear any complaints about equipment. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right. So as far as uh, as far as the – well, let me let me revert back because I I I, I think uh, we was talking about the pay and everything. Are you guys a a, a ten ninety nine company or you you're a W no W two W two Okay, okay. But do you guys offer leasing? That, do you do you offer leasing? Um, not at this point in time. Okay. Uh, we do have a lease purchase program. We do have uh, uh, owner operators and stuff like that. Uh, but when COVID hit, we we kind of put the squash on that for a little while. But I'm sure it'll come back around. So all right, all right, cool. Well, you know, I I definitely do want to thank you for uh, giving me your time uh, for going over Cook. Uh, I just have a I just have a few questions. The my my one question to my last question is is dealing with felons. Now I'm not a felon. <laughs> I am not okay. I'm not a felon, but I just want to I just want to ask the question, do you give drivers with felonies, do you give them a chance or is it on a case by case yes. uh basis? Yes, we we do take uh any felony convictions uh, under review on a case by case basis. Okay. Uh if if they're they're felony convictions within the last 10 years. Okay. 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 All right. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So my last question, which you deals with uh, driver safety, you know, some of the, some of the craziness that's been going on since, you know, since COVID hit and, you know, with all this, uh, you know, especially up in Minnesota, you know, you guys been hit hard with the, with the protesting and the violence and stuff like that. Uh, In light of all of that, how do you guys, how do you, how do the company, protect their drivers with high value loads going into high risk cities? Well, um, we, we keep our ear to the ground. We, we, if, if there's any, any sign of social unrest, we, we were out our drivers. Um, you know, we, we do a lot of high value stuff. We've, uh, we've been the number one carrier, um, uh, for a uh, best buy for 30 years. Um, so we, we run Best Buy out of Minneapolis and out of several different cities throughout the, the country to service their store. Uh, mm. So we're, we're hauling their stuff final mile from, from the distribution center to their stores. Okay. Uh, that's just one thing that we do. 
Uh, we, we, we haul a lot of high value freight, a lot of specialized freight. Uh, but you know, we do the best that we can do to keep our drivers safe. That's all I can tell you. All right. We keep our ears to the ground. We watch social media. We watch the news. We watch, you know, any place that, that there's unrest going on and stuff like that. We're highly vigilant and we, we take care of our drivers to all the right. best of our ability. I mean, that's it, it's a risk out there, brother. You know, that's what's uh, up. That, it, that's it, what's it, up. I mean, you're, 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 you ever, everybody's taking a risk that's going out there, but you know, I was up in Minneapolis two weeks in a row, uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, and you know what? I didn't see any problem. Uh, but then again, I wasn't going out looking for them either. Okay. Um, uh, you know, typically these people that are ended up in problems are the people that are going out looking for problems. Exactly. Uh, yeah, that's that's just my opinion. That's, right. that's the way. Yeah, that's the way it is. So. All right. Since you mentioned you, you know, you mentioned Best Buy, and I, yeah. I, 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 you know, of course, I'm doing my research. I'm doing my homework, and one of the companies that I did call was Warner Enterprises, and the okay. the gentleman there was offering uh, a Best Buy a Best Buy account uh, regional. Uh, about about twenty eight hundred miles, but they was they 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 did Best Buy. What made since you mentioned Best Buy and you say you was that you guys uh did Best Buy for a long time? What would be what would be the difference between you guys doing the Best Buy than me jumping over to Warner and doing their Best Buy account? Well. You got to look at us. We're, we've got stability with Best Buy. We've been with them a long time. And, and we're a company that's about the driver. Um, you know, at Warner, your numbers. That's it. Uh, I've been with big companies. I've been with J.B. Hunt, worked with them for 14 years. I've seen how they treat a driver. Okay? Mm -hmm. We've got 800 drivers, 800 trucks. Mm -hmm. We're not the mega carrier that Warner, the JB Hunt, the Heartland, the Cree, you know, uh, all these big ones out there. Mm -hmm. um, so our approach with the driver is different. Oh, wow. um, that, I mean, our turnover rate, you, you go look at JB Hunt's turnover rate. You go look, you go ask Warner and get, get a straight answer out of them what their turnover rate is. Yeah, okay. You're not going to get our, it. Our, our turn, Ours currently is 52%, okay? The national average is over 100%. So we're doing something right. Uh, most of the people that leave our company are leaving for life changes, medical issues, stuff like that. You know, we get the occasional safety thing where we have to draw a line and, and part company. Uh, but most of the people that leave the company isn't because they want to leave the company. It's because they have to leave the company. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, well. No, well, we've got. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. we got great benefits, great equipment, pays outstanding. Um, you know, we'd, we'd love to have you over here with us. That's what's up. I want to give you my name and number. Well, um, oh, well, so I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll take that. I'll, I'll definitely take that. Um. I, I, I just want to say that that's all I have, you know, for right now. You know, I would definitely take this info, you know, go over it and everything. And I will also share this in my social media where I network with uh, with many other truck drivers such as myself. So, yeah, if you definitely hey, yeah. give, them, give, them, give them my name and my phone number. Uh, my name's Adam Howard. All right. If you want to, let me give you let me give you my email. And you can uh, shoot shoot it all over to me, and I would okay. tag I, I would tag you in in my Facebook post when I when I go in uh when I go in my group and okay. tell them that I talked to you. We did my, we didn't have anything in the system on you. I, Let me get a little information. That but no, and no. I can I can email you. I yeah, just uh call me just call me Shine, S H A U N. Okay, just give me your email address. Yeah, uh, I won't push for any information. Yeah, just give me your email address. It's L O 
C K O U T M E N at Gmail dot com. Okay. Gmail dot com. Dot com. All right. Okay. And, All right. And this this is and I'm just putting in here contact info. Uh this has got all my contact info, uh, desk phone number, cell phone number, email address, and link to an application. All right, I will. So, I, I will link. All, I will link all that to uh, to my posts when I when I go on my when I go on my Facebook today. So thank you very right. much, man. I really do appreciate it. Good clarification because the the guy that eat the the guy that tests me, yeah. So I, I appreciate you. Uh, I appreciate you coming on and uh, and 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 talking with me today, man. Thank you. And feel free to call anytime, John. Uh, I I love the opportunity to work with you. Okay. All right. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Cook trucking, everybody. <laughs> All right. Cook Trucking. So what do you guys think of that call right there, man? Cook Trucking. It's spelled K-O-C-H, but it is pronounced Cook Trucking. I I think the I I I think the call went very well. I mean, he was enthusiastic about, you know, giving the information about the company. And um and you know, 50 cent a mile. About 3,000 miles that you can get. They do the Best Buy accounts. They do regional from Minnesota all the way down to Texas and Texas back up to Minnesota. Get to take the trucks home. And maybe on the newer trucks, you get the amenities that he mentioned. But what do you guys think? You know, if you guys want to give Cook Trucking a call, it is 800-625-5292. Nine two, but I will link all of the information to the recruiter that I just got finished talking to. I will link all that in the description below so that you guys can, you know, go over there and see for yourself and see if cook trucking works for you. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said before, I, I get a dark text and it's, it, it's kind of, it's kind of funny how recruiters, outside recruiters, try to, you know, try to bring you on with vague information. So with that said, well, that is about it for this episode of Lockout Men. <laughs> God damn it, man. Wrong button. There we go. So that is it for this episode of Lockout Men Podcast, the MTC edition. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, definitely leave it in the comments below. Whoever you want me to call next, put your suggestion out there. Let me know. And maybe next week will probably be a call that you might want to hear. Well, if you want that, like I said, leave it in the comments or you gave me up in the Gmail. That's LockoutMenPodcast at gmail.com or head over to the Instagram and get me up over there. Cook Trucking. What do you guys think of that call, man? He was excited. Called him up. He was like, yo, I woke up this morning and I'm feeling blessed. Well, that's what's up, man. If you guys want to give them a call, definitely give them a call. See if they can work out for you. All right. So until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button, especially if you like content like this. I know you do because you guys tell me all the time that you guys want the calls. So I'm going to continue to get it. Yo, if you want to, you want to help out the channel, hook me up with some coffee. Coffee and Cash App is both in the description below. So hook a brother up with that. You know what I'm saying? Until next time, this is Lockout Men. That's me. Yes, sir. That is me. So with that said, you guys take it easy. And I will come back at you with a, oh, wait. Come back next week. Next week. Now, let me tell you guys something, though. You can come back week to week for a new episode of the MTC calls because they're already done. But 
If you want to hear all the calls now, go over to the podcast. Go over to your favorite podcast platforms, man, including the new Amazon. Yes, sir. Lockout Men podcast is on the new Amazon platform. So type in Lockout Men and you'll see it and boom, you'll see all the calls already done. But if you want to come back and just watch me, you know, that's cool, too. That's cool, too. But you got to wait every week for that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right, guys, y'all take it easy. Oh, don't forget to download Trucker's Path. It's the app that everybody needs. If you're a truck driver, grab that app. All right, with that said, I am done. I am out of here. You guys take care. You have a blessed day, and I'll come at you with another video. Peace. Searching, 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 and searching, searching. Searching